Good morning, Jefferson Jets. It is Tuesday, March 5th, 2019. It is an E-Day and day 115. I hope you enjoyed your snow day yesterday. I certainly did. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, a moment of silence, and your Jefferson Jets Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Jefferson Jets Pledge. Jefferson Jets are respectful, safe, and kind. It is the Jefferson way to be our best every day. March, uh, in March we celebrate Women's History Month. And uh, this year, uh, we are celebrating champions of peace and nonviolence. And we'll start today with an introduction into what is Women's History Month and give us a little background information. So, I hope you enjoy this intro. In the United States, March is Women's History Month. It honors women's contributions in all areas of life, as scientists, inventors, artists, politicians, and more. The celebration began in 1978, when the school district of Sonoma, California, hosted a week-long recognition of women's accomplishments throughout history. The idea spread, and in 1980, President Jimmy Carter proclaimed the week of March 8th National Women's History Week. Six years later, an organization called the National Women's History Project convinced Congress to dedicate the entire month of March to women's history. Each year, a special focus for the month is declared by the National Women's History Project. For example, important artists like photographer Dorothea Lange and painter Mary Cassatt have been celebrated. Pioneers such as educator Mary McLeod Bethune, Clara Barton, who founded the Red Cross, Amelia Earhart in aviation, and First Lady Michelle Obama have also been honored. Women's History Month celebrates unsung heroes too. The countless women who helped when our country was at war, women who run businesses and volunteer in their communities, single mothers who work and raise families, and the unknown writers and artists in history whose works were never made public, yet teach historians much about our country's past. Which women in your life would you like to celebrate? So that's a very important question that we have. Uh, what is a woman in your life uh, that you would like to celebrate. Uh, it could be one of your teachers if it's a woman. It could be your mom, grandma, aunt, sister, uh, somebody in the community. But uh, think about think about that. Uh, so we're coming back to it. And I want to introduce you to um, a, a fantastically brilliant person and uh, give you a little bit of information about her because she is uh, she's really a role model for not only students, but teachers and just humans in general. Uh, and that's my personal belief. So I hope you enjoy this quick video about Malala Yousafzai. to have fun learning about a girl who helped change the lives of many other girls named Malala Yousafzai. Malala Yousafzai made her mark on history known as a children's and women's rights activist. Malala was born on July 12, 1997 in Mangora, Pakistan in Swap Valley. Things quickly changed in Malala's life when a group called the Taliban attacked a girl's school in her area. This was because in Pakistan, the Taliban would not allow girls to go to school and if they did, they would be killed. Because of this Taliban ban on school, many schools shut down, afraid that they would kill young girls. This did not stop Malala. In September 2008, she gave a speech where she spoke out asking, how dare the Taliban take away my basic right to education? That was just the start of her story, as Malala took to blogging. She used her blog to tell the world about her life and what it was like to live with the Taliban stopping her and other girls from receiving an education. Like many authors in history, she used the blog to voice her opinion, and she wrote under the name Gold Makai to hide her identity from the Taliban or anyone who did not agree with her blogging. 
For Malala's work and courage, she was nominated for the International Children's Peace Prize in 2011 and awarded Pakistan's National Youth Peace Prize. Now, if this didn't make the Taliban happy, this would lead to the Taliban saying they would kill Malala for speaking out. Doing things like this is very bad, and people like this practice hate and not love. Like on October 9, 2012, a man wearing a mask entered Malala's school bus and hurt her very bad. Now, because of this man practicing hate and hurting Malala, she had to spend a lot of time in the hospital. And doctors had to do many operations to help Malala become well again and save her life. After treatment, Malala returned to school. On her 16th birthday, with many people supporting her from around the world, Malala returned, letting her voice be heard, delivering a speech to the United Nations. Continuing to write, this time she put her life on display with her autobiography, I Am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. Malala would continue to speak up for the rights of children and women around the world, and her works were recognized in October 2014. This is where at the age of 17, she would receive the Nobel Peace Prize, becoming the youngest person ever to receive it. Malala continues to work fighting for global education and being a voice in the world that all people matter and all children have a right to education. So hey, I hope you enjoyed learning about the life of Malala Yousafzai. And I hope you had fun learning with F-R-E-S-B-E-R-G Cartoon. All right. We have a shout out for first grade again. I did want to show you some more of their Imagineering projects. So take a look at some of these. These were from Miss Lucas's class. So all first grade. Great job. And we have some birthdays to catch up on. Happy birthday to Caitlin Cotto, Damien McClinathan, Demarius Gonzalez, Demetrius Gonzalez, sorry. Emery Murray, Justin Quinn, Jemiah Rodriguez, Celiani Castillo, and Kareem El Hassan. And finally, be great today, choose happy, and have a tremendous Tuesday.